So at the moment, I've got the Age of the Sea floor layer ticked on. So what you can see is a different color scheme going across the, the ocean floor. And you can see a rainbow color scheme, basically. So a range of reds through to blues and greens. Now what this is actually showing, although the, there's no legend here to tell you this, but what this is showing is that these red areas here are younger. And this is basically where new sea floor is created along the mid-ocean ridges. So we cover this a little bit more in the lectures in week two. But one interesting thing that you can do is having a look at where these all these plate boundaries are is also to tick on the layer which I've previously loaded that, that show you the, um, the earthquake epicenters. All right, and this one's actually got a, a legend, so I might tick that on this time too. So this layer is really quite cool in that it's constantly getting updated. So it's showing you the, the earthquakes that have occurred in the past hour, the past day, and the past week. And the idea is to have a look at exactly whereabouts all these earthquakes are occurring across the globe. And bearing in mind that some of these are very small, this is all earthquakes plus one magnitude, which we cover in the week three lecture. But have a look at this, the association with the plate boundaries and where these earthquakes are occurring. And what you tend to see is that they're occurring predominantly along the plate boundaries. And again, we sort of discussed this in the lectures for week two and week three. But there's a number of things that you can have a look at as you make your way around the data set. And you can also see if you can try and estimate where you would be able to tell where the seafloor is moving the fastest where, where, compared to where it's moving slower. So there's a couple of different data sets there that I've supplied for you to have a look at. Feel free to look around the data and please do explore and um, make sure that you're really comfortable with using this as a, as a piece of software for exploring spatial data.